Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay everyone, before I'm going to start my tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'll be using limited colors my palette and this is my um, paints, acrylic paints and I, I will be using the tiny white, the tall blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umber. So I am using limited colors because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using burnt umber that's okay and if you're using burnt china you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark or to make it look like black but if you're using burnt umber and burnt uh, raw umber you just have to mix it with blue to make it dark or look like uh, or if you have to if you want to have a black color or dark color okay and these are my brushes these are just the possible brushes that I'm going to use I have here the number 11 nylon flat brush, number 11 bristle flat brush, long handled, and number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. I also have here the number 7 and number 3 nylon flat brush, um, short handle, and number 1 liner brush for the details. You can also use round brush, zero, double zero, or triple zeros for a finer details and this is my canvas it's 10 by 12 inches it has three cuts of prime white acrylic you can also use gesso I made it myself and water to thin the print and water spray um, so that we can have um, a wet surface you can spray it in our you can miss our canvas and it will be easier for easier for us to blend the colors okay so that's it so I think I'm going to start now and okay so I think I'm going to start and I'm going to paint today um, a sunset so I think I'm going to put and it will be a lake guys a lake sunset so I'll just put a little um, a little crossing waves or something like that or just a very uh, plain um, water body of water then I'm going to put some trees here some it will be a tropical tropical um it will be a tropical scene so i'll going to put some some what you call this um um what you call this um some palm trees coconut trees or something like that and also some boat on the on the sea or on the on the lake yeah something like that i'm not sure yet guys whatever comes to my mind i'll just apply it on the, on the canvas so let's just see what will be our result today okay so i'm going to start now and First, we need to use this brush, the number 11 nylon flat brush. And let's paint the sky with yellow. And with a little red to make it orange, of course. Because we need to have a yellow sky. Another yellow here. So let's just paint it with, um, with the yellow. So let's just spread it here. And I'm gonna use some white and another yellow again. And red to make it a little pinkies. And put it here. I think I'm gonna put my horizon here. Yeah, not sure yet. But I want to cover first with this color. Okay. 
with an orange color and if you are painting with me just follow what I'm doing okay Uh, you need to clean your brush before applying other colors or before applying or mixing other colors in your brush Okay, it first You need to clean it first Then I'm going to use some blue and I'm oh, sorry not yellow but red to make some purples And of course some white To lighten this purple and let's apply it here On our sky Make sure that your sky, the boundary of the sky is red so that it won't turn green. That's it. So you need to be careful. You need to apply pinkies first. So we need to blend a little. Just blend it here. There. I think it's not that hard. Again, you need to clean a little your brush. And then I'm going to use some blue color and some white. I'm gonna make some light blue. And I'm going to apply the light blue on the top. There. This is the sky. The sky, it is the blue color. And this part will be a little clouds, that's why it's, it turns yellowish and orange. There. And then you're going to have to blend it here. There you go. Just blend it here. and then what's next so yeah I am going to wait I'm going to use some white here and white uh, no yellow and white because I'm going to make this part lighter yes So, I think this part will be the reflection here. Yeah, but I'm gonna save it later. So, I'm going to use this again. A little purple color with some blue to make it purple. Blue and red. And white. More red. So, I'm going to put some mountain here. It should be purple. Yes, the color should be purple. And make sure the the horizon is straight. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys, my horizon is not straight. Uh, you should make it straight. So this will be some mountains on the distance. So it is a faded mountains to make it look misty. Yeah. And the color is purple because of the sunset, because of the color of the sand. That's why the mountain also becomes a little purple. So make sure guys that your distance and your, your horizon is straight like this. Yeah, just make it straight no matter what. There, something like that. I'm not sure if my horizon is straight, but I think it is. It is straight. Yeah, congratulations to me. Okay. So the color, um, something like brown. Yeah, yellow is brown, something like that. But I was using um, the purple and it mixed with the yellow, so it turns brown. So that what's happened to the colors. As you see, it's um, brownish. That's okay, that's fine. 
you can use that anyway okay so now you can we need to use some yellow no red and yellow sorry red and yellow and white more yellow there you go it's um, a little orange in color and we need to we need to create the straight line of the horizon we need to we need to yeah we need to do this yeah just follow the horizon straight with this color so we have now the horizon and maybe we just have to let it dry first here before we're gonna touch more okay we need to clean your brush just clean your brush after you're done okay and i'm going to use again this blue color here with some red to make some purples more blue and red yeah Make sure it's purple and white. There you go, we have a purple color here now. So let's paint the, the water with the purple color. Oh, it should be a little lighter. I need to put more red there. So I need to cover it with this color first. But later just retouch that part. So I'm gonna use some blue color here and white. So I'm gonna use a little bluish now. This is not the final yet. I'm going to add a little yellowish color on this on the ocean and see. But we're gonna do it later. This is just the base color, the background. So we need to remove some whites. There. So just blend the colors here where the colors meet. Okay, between the two colors. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's yeah it's still wet. Okay, so maybe I'm going to proceed adding more dark tones. Dark tones first. So I think I'm gonna use this um raw umber with some blue to make some dark or black. So here, I'm gonna put it here. 
I think I'm just have to put it directly with a little blue. So don't worry guys, this is the, this is just the background colors, later I'm gonna add some details. So I'll be using again this one and some blue color because I'm going to put some island here. Just have to cover it with black color first. Or dark color. And later we just have to retouch this part. I'm gonna add some um, few um, or lots of coconut trees here or pan trees on this part. Yeah. That will be my plan and Okay, so I think this one is a little, it's already dry, yeah. So I'm going to proceed adding some details on that part. Yeah, I'm gonna use some yellow and I'll be using this um, this brush with number 8 plus brush, smaller brush. Some white color and some yellow. And let's put the sun here. It'll be a very bright sun facing the facing the the water. And I'm gonna mix for a little orange color. There we go. to put some clouds yeah I'll still be using this color you need to clean the brush before we're gonna apply some more colors or we're gonna mix other colors on it when you're on the, on the, on the same brush and we need to use some blue color and red to make some red purple or red violet there and of course some white I'm gonna put some clouds, happy clouds here this will be some happy clouds in the sky It. I 
another cloud here. Into some white to get a little lighter. And I'm going to add some more red. This will be some uh, low line clouds. And here, of course, okay, yeah. Now let's put some highlights on that on that clouds, particular clouds. So I'll be using the same brush, but I'm going to use the yellow and some red to make some orange or yellow and white. I do not have white there, so I'm going to refill my palette. More white. There you go. So it's a white, light orange. So let's kind of put some highlights there. So I think I'm gonna use some red, more red. There. So just put it on the bottom part of the clouds. it and here is some technique there I like it this one is more orange in color Okay, and guys, just put it on the down part of the below the dark clouds, and I'll be using another brush, which is the number seven dot brush, to have a finer detail. So I'm gonna use this yellow here with the white. There you go. I'm going to paint a finer details here. So I just put some line here. And 
here, he's gonna put more. That's it. I'm gonna put more yellow. This will be the highlights uh, reflected coming from the sun. There. But then anyway, we just cover. We need. We just have to cover some parts here because I'm going to put some coconut or pine or yeah, some coconut trees or palm trees. There. So we have now busy for clouds. And of course, we need to put the sun here. So I'll just use the pure white. And we need to put the sun here with a very bright white. On the horizon. There. So we have another sun. More white. Okay, as you can see, we have now the sun. Okay, so what's next? So I think it's time to retouch the, the sea. So I'll be using the smaller brush. Which is the number 8 flat brush. And again, I'm gonna need some purple here, some red purple. And some white, more red, purple, and blue. So we're gonna need to do this first. So we're gonna put the reflection here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna put it this one first because. So I just horizon um, long horizontal lines to create the waves, distant waves, or the wave-like effect. There we go. Just do it um, lightly or softly. There we go. That's it. So this will be some waves guys, just small waves on the, on the lake. Okay, 
Do not make it too straight, just make it a little irregular or curved. So I'll be using now this orange and yellow. It will be a light orange there. To create a okay, the reflection. So I'm gonna add some more white. Okay, so that is not enough. We need to add more. So I'm gonna use more white. Yeah. Yeah. You can spray the the colors, the, the light colors a little, like this, to create some small waves. I'm gonna make this part of the um, beach lighter there okay just make it lighter Okay, so uh, we need to make it a little lot more lighter with more yellow there you can actually use a smaller brush But I'll be using a smaller brush because it's hard to use this brush. So I'm gonna use some white here. More white. So I'm, uh, I will use first this yellowish color. I need to create the line first the reflection of the sun
there. And I'll be using some white. Yeah, I think some almost pure white. But I'll still mix it with a little yellow here. And I'm going to put some white rice on here. Okay, so we have now this reflection. Yeah. But I still need to put some orange on the side so I'll be using I'll be mixing another orange here. Just, just um, blend it a little. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's that looks real. That looks realistic now. And also, let's not forget this part here. I think it's put some um, water waves here. So far, I like the result. Okay, next we're gonna put something here on the, of course, on the riverbank, on the, not the riverbank, but the, the beach or the, yeah, on the lake, something like that. So I'll be using the raw umber with some red and yellow, of course, more red and a little white on there. So 
So let's kind of put some brown. Okay, and I think I'm going to put the palm freeze here. So of course I'll be using a smaller brush now. I'll be using this number three flat brush. So I'll be using the the pure raw umber. Yeah. I'll be I'm going to put one palm tree here. Another one here, yeah. Okay, so that's too big. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush, smaller than that. So I'll be using the number one liner brush. This one. Just do it a little careful. There. Okay. And also here. Yeah. And let's paint the palm trees. So let's put the the leaves first. Okay, sorry. And I'll be using the flat, the flat brush. What is this brush? Number seven flat brush. Okay, it's too wet. So just drag it like this. There. Just do it a little careful. That's it, so I think that's, that looks realistic now. On this one.
make sure that your brush is dry so it this will be a, a dry brush technique you need to create the lips one by one using this flat brush and if you have the liner brush you can also use that to avoid um, mistakes Yeah, I think I love the result. It looks realistic. And we'll be using this brush again. No, not again. For the first time, the bristle brush. And I'm going to use the, the raw umber with the blue. To create some leaves here other plants here not not the palm tree so just use the topping a punching technique there to add a little blue color And of course, we still need to put some pine trees. No, I mean, not pine trees, but um, coconut tree here. Okay, and also we need to put some um, branches or tree trunks to make it more realistic. Okay, I liked it. And wait, I'm going to put some rocks here. about that so far I love the result it's nice it looks real yeah and let's continue I'm going to put I'm going to start adding now the highlights let's put the highlights first on the rocks so I'm gonna use this Row umber with some yellow and red 
and white it should be yellowish so let's put the highlight here no, I think we're gonna use a smaller brush there but let's put some highlights on the river bank Of course, here yeah. we need to put a little here also. And we, need, um, I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some greens on the on this part here. So I'll be using the the yellow and blue with a little red in it, and of course white. Then just you can just use the topping of punching technique. There. Do not overdo it, always remember that. And also we're gonna put something here. Some grasses. I think yellow and red and white more yellow and red yes I'm gonna make it a little orange because of the light that's it Again, do not overdo it. Okay. Now let's add more details. I'll, I'll be using a bigger brush, the number seven cut brush. Yeah. I'll be using the, again this yellow, this yellow orange color. Uh, let's put a little highlight on this palm tree, just a little. There. There. 
And of course the rocks. I'm going to make this part a little lighter. And orange. With a few rocks on the beach, on the beach. Okay, I'm going to make it a little darker. And let's put some rock here. Yeah, plenty of rock. I'm gonna make it brown. Just put more dots to create the rock, small rocks or whatever. So I'm gonna make it a little lighter. That's too much. So uh, I'm putting now uh, main rock on the beach. Yeah, so far I like the result. It looks realistic. Yeah, and I think I'm going to put a boat here. Yeah, on this part. Yeah, that will be my plan. I'm going to put a boat here. Okay. So, but for that, I'm going to add some reflection first. And by doing that, I'm going to use some blue and raw umber, but I'm going to make it more bluish. So, just create 
the horizontal strokes, short horizontal strokes. Create these reflections. Just follow what you what you've done on the top and put it down. paint the reflection of the of this uh, palm tree so I'm gonna create the so I'm gonna make it a little lighter uh, but it should be a little faded Also the other one. Okay. Yeah, I love the result. And I'm gonna put the boat here. I'm gonna put the boat here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do <laughs> on the boat. It will just be a small boat here. Okay, so I'll visualize first the perspective. So I'm going to put it here. The hard thing about these guys is to create a, a good perspective. I'm not sure yet if it's right.
Hopefully I'm doing right. Okay, and I'm going to add some white and blue color. So this is the hard part guys is to create um, a vote and it should be on a good perspective. I'm not really sure yet if I am doing right. Yeah, maybe I'm not. I don't think so. And the shadows. They should have a shadow here. And uh, the reflection, it should be a little lighter. And the highlights on the top of the boat. So I'll be using some white here. I am using the light yellow. Sorry. I'm gonna put the reflection here. I don't think I'm uh, use the smaller brush. Sorry. The liner brush. I'll be using this brown. There. Okay, that's it. 
I'm gonna make it more light, so I'm gonna use the white. I'm going to intensify the white here. And also here. There. Okay. I'll be using this brush and I'm going to add some white on the on the grayest blue here and let's put some highlights I think it's on the right perspective. Yeah. And so far, I love the result. And I think I'm going to add some little crossing waves on the on the on the. Yeah, I'm gonna use this white here with a little yellowish. Let's put a little crossing waves here. There's a little crossing waves. More white with yellow. No, it should have, it should be a little lighter. and I'm going to retouch now because I think I'm almost done so I'm using more orange to retouch and this part should be a little lighter And some white. Actually, this is a um, crossing wave. Okay. 
Tja. Okay, so some more retouch. So I'm gonna use again some blue and yellow. It's a yellow, green, and white. More yellow there. So I'm using the number seven flat brush, and let's put some plants here. So just do it slowly guys to create the If you have a smaller brush, you can use that if you are having a hard time using this brush. And here, of course. More white and yellow. Okay. else so I think I am done yeah I think I am done guys and so far I love the result it looks realistic yeah I love it okay so I think I am done guys with my simple um, um, sunset painting tutorial so so far I love the result uh, as you can see if I'm it's a very bright um, sunset and there's a boat and some palm trees and I think I love the result today so I hope you like it okay thank you so much guys for watching this video today and my advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the, user brush, the more you know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the exact colors you want okay thank you so much guys for I think please hit like and some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay guys, once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.